हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस हैकाथन फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग रुड़की अवर टीम मेंबर्स आर नक्षत्र गर्ग महक गर्ग नीता रावत एंड अभिषेक भट्ट सो द प्रोजेक्ट विच वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक इज ऑनलाइन वोटिंग सिस्टम विच विल बी बेस्ड ऑन डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम इन ब्लॉक चैन नाउ लेटेस्ट कम टू द प्रॉब्लम विच वी आर फेसिंग इन अवर वोटिंग सिस्टम एट प्रेजेंट सिंस द डॉन ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इलेक्शन हैव बिन एक्यूज फॉर द लैक ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड सिक्योरिटी एस सोसाइटीज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आर रेपिडली एडोप्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजी अक्रॉस ऑल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी ए डिजिटलाइज डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम ऑफ वोटिंग माई जस्ट बी द नेक्स्ट इवोल्यूशनरी स्टेप टूवर्ड्स अ ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड ट्रस्टेड इलेक्ट्रोल सिस्टम According to a survey, approximately 900 million people were eligible for voting in 2019, but about 300 million people did not cast their votes because they were not able to reach the polling booth. So, we came up with the solution for this problem, which is a decentralized voting system using blockchain. Now, the question arises that what is blockchain? So, blockchain is a technology that is rapidly gaining momentum in era of industry 4.0. with high security and transparency provision it is being widely used in supply chain management system healthcare payment business iot and voting system by design a blockchain is resistant to modification of the data it is an open distributed ledger that can record transaction between two parties efficiently and in a verifiable and permanent way by storing data across its peer to peer network the blockchain eliminates a number of risks that come with data being held centrally the decentralized blockchain may use distributed networking blockchain technology can be integrated into multiple areas the primary use of blockchain today is as a distributed ledger for cryptocurrencies most notably bitcoin next thing which comes in our mind is why do we need online voting so our current voting system like ballot box voting or electronic voting suffer from various security threats such as ddos attacks polling booth capturing vote alteration and manipulation malware attacks and they also require huge amount of paperwork human resources and time this creates a sense of distrust among existing systems some of the disadvantages of our existing voting system are long queues during elections security breaches like data leaks or vote tampering a lot of paperwork involved hence less eco friendly and time consuming it is difficult for differently able voters to reach the polling booth and cost of expenditure in elections is high so how is blockchain based voting system better than our current voting system you can vote any time anywhere during pandemics like covid-19 where it's impossible to hold elections physically it is more secure it is immutable faster and transparent uh, we have referred to the following links for our details so are there countries which are presently using online voting system yes some countries do use online voting system like sierra leone conducted a blockchain based voting system on march 7 and became the first country to do so authorities of moscow planned and launched a blockchain based electronic voting system pilot project in june 2019 in india also the chief election commissioner sunil arora made the announcement at the times now summit in new delhi that the election commission of india is to collaborate with the indian institute of technology to develop a blockchain system for voting the electronic voting system he said would solve the problem of people being unable to vote because they live or work away from their hometowns where they are registered therefore it is safe to conclude that blockchain has taken the world by storm and is definitely proving to be the savior in election process by ensuring uncorrupted elections so now i would like to show you the code we have wrote to for our dapp and uh, i have used sublime text 3 with an add on of ethereum Uh, to code in solidity and uh, the first uh, one is index.html it's the code for web page we have generated and it's nothing fancy now next one is election.sol there are two files election.sol and migrations.sol these are our smart contracts file we can say that these are the backbone for our application because uh, when we are writing the smart contracts we are actually writing the back end code for our app we have used web 3 js technology in our application each web 3 invocation is either a transaction or a call transactions are sent to network and potentially state changing 
calls are read only and fast. Uh, contracts can call other contracts, but uh, it's always a transaction that gets things started. Uh, by transaction, I mean here uh, with the voting. When we click on cast vote, then a transaction is occurring. Now Web3.js sends a transaction to execute a method within the contract. Now on to our smart contract code. The first one is election.soul. In this you can see that there is a struct candidate which is a structure much like C language. And uh, we have just uh, added three, three things here. ID uh, or you can call it a SR number. And then it's the name of candidate. We have named it just candidate 1, 2 and 3. We have just added three candidates initially. But uh, there is a function called uh, you can see down there add vote by which we can add more candidates to our application. Then uh, down there there is a vote function which is keeping track of all the votes which candidate is getting how many votes and all that is uh, taken care by the vote function if you notice in our project directory you can see a src folder which contains all the code for our web page it's in this html javascript and css it's uh, most of the generated code now we have used ganache for creating a local blockchain instance so that we can develop and test our application it's uh, uh, pretty useful and we have connected it with metamask and together with uh, which it is connected to our main application there you can see the ui here i click on cast vote and it will be working fine so this was our application we have made in the hackathon and it was a great experience we got a lot to know and i would like to thank the mentors the organizers and college of engineering rootkey for providing this great opportunity to learn something new thank you